Okay friends, now let us see a concept called overflow and sign extension. See, what do you mean by overflow? If the number of bits is not sufficient, okay, to represent the result, then we say that there is an overflow. Suppose the bits, uh, the register is not sufficient in order to store more number of bits, then there is nothing but an overflow is there, overflow in the sense there are over number of bits is there in order to be store, store in the register. So there is an overflow, fine. That is called overflow and sign extension. In ones and twos complement representation, the extension of sign bit does not change the decimal equivalent value. In ones and twos complement representation, the extension of sign bit, the extension of sign bit does not change the decimal equivalent value. Here, what he is saying in ones and twos complement only, in not in sign magnitude form. Okay, see in ones complement, one zero one zero is nothing but minus five, right? This is minus seven four two one. Right, minus 7 plus 2 is nothing but minus 5. If I keep on increasing minus 1 in the LSB, the value won't change, friends. That is the logic here. But if you keep 0 here, the value changes. Right, next. Huh. 0, 1, double 0. That means this is, a this is a positive number. Positive number plus 4 is represented as uh, in sign magnitude representation only, both in 1s and 2s complement. Right? So, 0, 1, double 0 is nothing but plus 4. So, for positive numbers, if you go on increasing zeros, there is no change. For negative numbers in 1s complement, if you go on increasing 1s in uh, MSB, there is no change. Right? This, is, this logic applies in 2s complement also. Same thing. See, friends. In 2's complement, one double, minus 7 is nothing but 1 double 0. That means 8 minus 8, 4, 2, 1. Yes or no? Minus 1 plus 1 is nothing but minus 7, right? So keep on increasing 1 also. It, the value never changes. The magnitude and the number, number changes. You can keep any number of 1's, friends. No, nothing wrong is there. Next. 1 triple 0, 1 1 triple 0, 1 1 1 triple 0. It gives minus 8 only. How many 1's you keep on going here? It gives minus 8 only but here for positive numbers it, it should be in true binary form and msb should be any number of zeros the value won't change right this is the concept of overflow and sign extension so friends this is a very important concept subtraction with complements so how to subtract how to do subtraction using one's complement and two's complements this particular uh, theory is very useful in your interview friends right okay see if if uh, if at all I want to do the subtraction between A and B that is A minus B. I want to subtract B from A. Okay, that is A minus B. According to one's complement subtraction method, first of all, add A to the one's complement of B and observe the result obtained in step 1. First of all, we have to add A. I can write this as A plus one's complement of B. I can do this. In order to uh, in order to perform another circuit, uh, another circuit for subtraction, just if we can complement B and if we add to A, same result comes, right? That is what the beauty in the subtraction with complements. Now, if A is greater than or equal to B, some produces and carry and add 1 to the LSB to get the desired result. If A is less than or greater than or equal to B, suppose A is higher than B, then some definitely produces an end carry. Definitely carry will come and we have to add that carry to the LSB bit. Right friends, if at all A is less than B, some will, some won't produce an end carry, it does not, carry won't get produced and take the ones complement of sum and put negative sign in front of it. Fine. So, we will be solving the problems based on this. Okay. Two's complement representation also same like this friends, very similar to ones complement representation subtraction. Add A to the two's complement of B here. Now, we will be adding A to the two's complement of B in this, according to this method. So, if A is greater than or equal to B, suppose if A is greater than or equal to B, sum produces an addict carry. In 2's complement method, we have to discard the carry. This is very important. Here, in 1's complement, complement method, we will be adding 1 to the LSB. Here, we will be discarding the carry and sum is the desired result. If at all, if A is less than B, sum does not produce an anti carry. Here also same thing, but take 2's complement here and, uh, of the sum and produce negative sign. Here, take 1's complement and produce the... Uh, negative sign in front of it to get the desired result. So this is the way. Now let us look at the problems. Now let us see the problem friends. Here A is given as 1001, B is 100, perform A minus B. Fine. We have to do A minus B. What do you mean by A minus B friends? I have already told you A plus 1's or 2's complement of B. If at all I am performing 1's complement, I will be taking as 1's complement of 
B. Yes or no? What he has given A equal to 1001. What is B friends? It is 0. Uh, sorry, it's 100, right? Can I keep 0 here? There is no change, right? So what is 1's uh, complement of B friends? What is 1's complement of B? Simply inverting this. 0 to 1, 1 to 0. That means 1, 0, 1, 1. Now I have to add these two in order to get A minus B. So A minus B equals to 1001 plus 1011. So 1 plus 1 0 carry 1, 1 plus 1 0 carry 1, 1, 1 plus 1 0 carry 1 is there. Right? So 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1. So we have to add this carry to LSB. Right? Now 0 plus 1 is 1, 0, 1, 0. So this is the final answer. Hope you understand. He has already told you that when A is what he has told when A is greater than or equal to B, some produces an end carry. So A is greater than B here. A is greater than B. That's why end carry is produced. And we have to add the end carry to LSB bit. Finally, result is obtained. Right? This is A minus B. Now, in two's complement method, how we will be doing A minus B equals to A plus two's complement of B. Yes or no? So what is A friends here? A is nothing but 1001, B equals to 0, 100. 0. 100 means, uh, in front we can keep 0 here. So, what is 2's uh, complement of B? 2's complement of uh, B is nothing but, so 0, 0, until non zero number digit comes, 2 zeros will come. So, 1 came and this will be get inverted, right? This is the shortcut, yes or no? Now, we have to add these two. So, A minus B is equal to 1001101 yeah no 1100 yes so what is the answer friends 101 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1 if any carry produces we have to discard the carry and the result is the final answer yes or no yes so 0101 0, 1 is the final answer carry is produced so a is greater than b yes or no so in this way we will substitute right next one now let us see friends, using 1's and 2's complement subtraction, perform A minus B, okay. A he has given, B he has given. Now A minus B in the sense, using 1's complement here, I will be writing A plus 1's complement of B. Yes or no? What he has given A was 0, 1, 0, 1. What he has given B, 1, 1, 0, 0. What is the 1's complement of B friends? 0, 0, 1, 1, right? So I have to add these two, A plus B. A, so, A minus B is equal to adding these two, right? So, 1, 0, 0, 1, hmm, 0, 0, 1, 1. 1 plus 1 is 0, carry 1. 1 plus 1 is 0, carry 1. 1 plus 1 is 0, carry 1. 1 is here. There is no carry here. Carry is not there. So, there is this result is, this. Uh, what does it represent? A is less than B. Yes or no? When A is less than B, what we have to do? Keep negative sign in front of it. Yes or no? That's what we he is telling. So, uh, and at the, at the same time, before keeping a negative sign in front of it, what we have to do? We have to take one's complement of this result. What is the one's complement of this result, friends? 1, 1, 1, 0. And then now put minus. This is the answer. Don't keep minus after obtaining the result. Do the one's complement again to the result and put minus. That is according to the procedure. Now, let us go for two's complement. So, A minus B is equal to A plus two's complement of two's complement of B. You right. So A is equal to 0, 1, 0, 1 and B equals to 0, 0, 1, 0. 0, 0, common, 1 came. So from here, inversion happens. That is 0. So now, this is A and B. 2's uh, complement, 2's complement of B. 2's complement of B equal to this. So A minus B is equal to adding these two, right? So 0, 1, 0, 1 plus 0, 1, double 0, right? 1, 0, 1 plus 1, 0, right? Carry 1, 1. So, no negative here, no carry here. So, what we have to do? We have to do the 2's complement representation again to this and put negative sign in front of it. That is, A is less than B here. So, what is the 2's complement representation for this question, friends? Remember, so 1 will be as it is. So, from here, inversion happens. So, 0 is 1, 1 and it is 0 and put minus sign in front of it according to the procedure. See, both are same numbers, right? While we are doing using either 1's complement or 2's complement subtraction, both values are same. Okay, friends? In this way, we will perform subtractions using complements. So, now, friends, what is the major advantage of, of by performing by performing subtractions using complements? See, the advantage of performing subtraction by using complement method is 
reduction in the hardware that is the very important this is the point he will be giving in the options you have to take reduction in the hardware so that size decreases so instead of having separate digital circuits for addition uh, separate digital circuits for addition subtraction addition and subtraction no need of to having two one circuit for addition and one circuit for subtraction only adding circuits are sufficient because if we do the complement for the other end, other one that is subtraction, you might be already known the, to the mind end and subtraction, right? If you have might have, if you will do, if you do the complement for the other other term that is B, A minus B. If you do complement for this directly, you can add. No, why to use sub, uh, separately subtraction method? Uh, why to use separately subtraction uh, circuit? No need, right? So the reduction of hardware will be there. That is very. That is the key here. Another important question, friends, basing on two complement number. Listen carefully. A register contain a uh, register containing uh, a two complement number. There is a there is a register, friends. Register is nothing but the storage elements, right? The collection of storage elements. Fine. In that, a two complement number is there. That is one zero one double zero. It is there. If the number is divided by two, if we operate the if we perform the our uh, division operation, find what will be the value in the register after performing. See. I have a register that is nothing but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. I have a register here. This is 2's complement, uh, complement number. If this is 2's complement number, what is the value, friends? So uh, I think it is 8, 4, 2, 1, minus 16, right? So minus 16 plus 4. What is this? Minus 12. If minus 12 is divided by 2, what will be the value? Minus 6. Hence, after performing division, what will be the value in uh, register, friends? See, what is the minus 6 value, friends? So, minus, uh, 8, 4, 2, 1. So, minus 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. Right? 5 bits should be there. So, how can I get minus 6, friends? Uh, if I could subtract 16, uh, um, uh, 10 from minus 16, that is 1, 1. 8 plus 2 is 10 here. So, minus 16 plus 10 gives minus 6 only, right? So, 10 is 8 plus 2. Fine, minus 16. So this is 0, this is 0. So the answer will be 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. So in the register, what is the uh, number stored? 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. So in this way, we will be performing 2's complement, 1's complement, sign magnitude, all these things. I hope you understand about the number system. Now let us go to the next chapter, which is called as Boolean algebra, which is very important for logic gates and to solve KMAP. Let us solve that. Thank you.